Do you know what our problem is? At least I think much of us. I think our problem is I think we care too much about what people think. You may believe you need this or that. You may believe you want this or that. But how many of your supposed needs and wants are influenced based upon other people? I can do with a cheap car, but... But, if I get a cheap car, some people may not accept me. Some people may look down upon me. They may believe I am poor, I am broke, and I don't have it going on, figuratively speaking. Kevin, I need new clothes. Yes, I can get secondhand clothes, but I want people to know that, you know, I am a fashionable person, so people will like me and whatever else. Do you know what that sounds like to me? That sounds like to me you have low self-esteem. You may even have a spirit of rejection. So what are you going to do? Are you going to do bad things to get what you believe you need and want? Are you going to put yourself in so much debt to get some things you may not even want? In your house now, you probably have many things you don't really use much. Why do you have it? Probably, I think in some cases, probably you have some things because other people may believe they are nice to have. So you are probably living a life based upon what other people think is good. So are you willing to place yourself in debt trying to look like something that you aren't? Back in my past, I believe when I was in high school, I did not Probably before then, I'm not sure. Let's say high school or whatever. I did not know much about clothes. But I believe I would get teased so much about wearing <laughs> ordinary clothes. Like, not... I guess it would make sense if... I had holes in my clothes and stuff like that. I believe at that time, my mom would buy me affordable clothes. But I believe I would get teased about not wearing designer clothes. Or what are they called? Uh, name brand clothes, like urban name brand clothes. So, I believe I bothered my mom asking her to buy me these overpriced clothes and she and she she uh did and once I got over 18 to the point where I could afford buying my own clothes I was wasting so much money on clothes. Clothes, <laughs> clothes I don't have. Like, if you see the way I dress now, you know, like plain shirt, this shirt probably cost me $3 and this 
maybe, I don't know, 15, 20. I wasted so much money on clothes, shoes, and other things. I wish I had at least half of that money back. Are you living a life that is not you? So maybe part of your unhappiness, maybe part of your depression is coming from not being you. Yes, I believe we all should serve God and obey his rules. If something is not a sin, I believe we can do it if it is not going to influence us to sin. So if you are dressing or living a life that you are not really interested in, but you are doing it to be accepted, I believe that may be part of your depression. That may be part of whatever you are going through. How much money have you spent? How much are you in debt because you want people to look highly upon you? Stop that. If someone don't accept me because I wear a beanie and and this here and that here, bye-bye. <laughs> Man, I wish I have learned this, I believe. I wish I would have learned this in my childhood because back then I wanted people to accept me. I wanted people to be friends with me and stuff like that. I wanted people, you know, but who cares? If someone doesn't want to be my friend because I don't waste my money on that overpriced clothes stuff, whatever. If someone doesn't want to be my friend because I drive a rusted <laughs> older car, whatever. If someone is going to look down upon me because of I live for God and I don't go to the club and bar and stuff like that, whatever. I believe there are going to be some people that are similar to me or close to it. So let me, I, I guess if I wanted to, let me be around them then. I don't have to be around the really popular and I guess the really pretty handsome people, right? Because in truth, do those people really care about you anyway? Huh? I don't think so. Let me stop here. God bless you.